across the East Coast this weekend. Here's a look at the roads in Greenville, North Carolina. Many roads are slick and residents are without power. Now, despite what looks like only a couple of inches of snow right there, snow is also on the way to central New York this evening, and many of us are used to driving in that right there, Josh. But of course, you might need that snow rush tomorrow if you are headed out to kind of get that snow off the car. Yeah, Amanda, I think if you had that kind of snowfall where you live here, you'd probably be like, Josh, this is great. I can manage this. But I think some spots will see way more than that as we go into tomorrow. Right now, all of our viewing area here at CNY Central is under a winter storm warning. And what this means this time around, if you look at the banner on the top of your screen, we're looking at some snow, sleet, and even some freezing rain that will be impacting the roads between overnight and Monday morning. And then actually again for a little bit Monday afternoon and evening. Okay, so it's a combination I think this time around why the National Weather Service out of Binghamton and Buffalo who cover our areas here with these alerts decided to go with a warning. They actually had an advisory up earlier and then they bumped it up to a warning I think for the newest model information with the snow and ice potential. Okay, we shared this with you last evening. I want to share it again. The track of the storm is fairly certain at this point, but if it does move a little bit west, if it does move a little bit east, the amount of snowfall for parts of our area could change. There's going to be some warmer air aloft. The latest computer models still indicate that somewhat at mid-levels, warmer air comes in, and that's what's going to produce some sleet and some freezing rain. Even if it just mixes with the snow, it'll reduce the snowfall accumulations. If we go to all sleet or all freezing rain, then it's going to really take a toll or a hit on the snow totals, but it will still be icy and hazardous for driving. And then also watching now in the storm system, we'll show you on the satellite in a minute here, some dry air could wrap up on the southern end of it, and that could really disrupt the precipitation in general and shut down some of the snowfall. So a lot of different things going on with the storm system to impact snow. Tappers right now, we're in the 20s, 25 here in Syracuse. Teens for the wind chill across our area, so much more tolerable. That's why I'm not wearing the hat this evening out here on the deck, but I do have the gloves on. Live triple Doppler radar brought to us by Falso Service Experts. We're dry in Syracuse, Watertown. Down towards, say, the New York, Pennsylvania border south of, say, Geneseo. They are beginning to see some light snow developing there. And look at this system. We head way down south. You can see this spin in the atmosphere, area of low pressure. We got snow on the northern side of the storm. We got cold air at low levels here. We're going to have some mild air off the southeast coming in aloft. That's why we're going to have some of the pink in the mix coming into play. And look at this right here. This is where there may be some dry air that may wrap all the way around that storm system and possibly disrupt the precip into tomorrow morning for at least a handful of hours. Future cast, we go through this evening beyond now through about 8 o'clock, some light flurries and light snow working in from southwest to northeast. And I think by the time you watch us on CW6 at 10 and right here on NBC3 at 11, you'll be seeing more snow on live triple Doppler radar. Temperature will be in the 20s, so the snow will be sticking, and it could be moderate to briefly heavy at times. 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, see the pinks showing up here? That's the sleet, the ice pellets mixing in, maybe some freezing rain. And look at this lack of color right here. That is where the actual precip could shut off for a while. We may flip to some brief liquid rain showers. And then during Monday afternoon and Monday evening, we get cold enough for all snow once again for a few more inches there. Okay, I have two snow maps to share with you. This one is for the snow overnight through 7 a.m. Monday, Syracuse area, two to as much as six inches. Lesser to the east with more mix and more to the west, colder and snowier. The next snow map is for tomorrow during the daytime, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., an additional one to four inches likely for our area and there's going to be some additional snow with lake effect tomorrow night and into Tuesday. So 30s briefly for tomorrow above freezing and we turn colder Tuesday, Wednesday near 40, a couple drops, a couple flakes and then back to the cold teens Thursday, Friday, Saturday and look at those overnight lows. We may be going sub zero once again back inside with you, Amanda. Thank you, Josh.